Uber wants to sell you Amazon Echoes, earbuds, and a bunch of other things on your next Uber ride. Xbox, Twitter, Uber, Postmates, One Note, Netflix, Movie Pass, Google, Facebook, eBay, DoorDash, Apple, Amazon, Airbnb, The Entrepreneur. Hey everyone, this is Kevin, The Entrepreneur, and what is the next thing Uber can do for you as a passenger? Well. In their mind, they want you to be they want to be a shopping center for you. They want you to be able to buy things for you on your next ride and they have teamed up with Cargo to do it. Here's the headline, Uber puts a shopping experience in cars for riders to buy AirPods, Amazon Echoes and more. I will never buy an Amazon Echo. And by the way, there's a Cargo Store app, a new app it should I believe, and there you go. By the way, I like how they're highlighting the Movies Anywhere app, so, you know, whatever. Next time you're sitting in an Uber on the way to the airport, wishing you had better luggage or had thought to download a movie to your phone, you'll be able to do just that. Uber on Wednesday announced the launch of a new shopping app with Cargo, a startup that aims to be an on-the-go convenience store. About a year ago, Cargo struck a deal with Uber to become the ride-sharing service's exclusive in-car commerce provider globally. And yeah, I'm going to say right now, I'm going to reiterate that was a total BS strong arm thing because cargo is and was, was and is, whatever you want to call it, this thing where you put like a little thing on your, in your car and people could buy snacks and stuff like that. You know, they, they pay and you get a cut of the sales. Well, it, anyway, Uber said, Hey, no, 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 no. Those are our drivers. Those Uber drivers, they're ours. You know, you can't do that. We will sue you so that you don't do that. Funny how whenever Uber wants something, then we're their drivers. But anyway. So Cargo pulled us out of some Uber. Uh, did it with Lyft for a little while. Found out that Uber was obviously a lot more lucrative and came back to the t table and became an exclusive partner with Uber. That is Uber strangling a partnership out of them. That is. And it was total extortion in my opinion. You know, or maybe blackmail, whatever you want to call it. But... That was Uber not playing fair. And by the way, I want to remind everyone, as independent contractors, we should be allowed to make extra money this way without needing Uber's seal of approval. But anyway, whatever. So they have already been working to put consoles selling snacks into cars. About 30,000 Uber drivers in the 10 U.S. cities have them. And why wouldn't you? If you drive Uber, you'd be kind of crazy not to. By the way, a referral code for cargo is below. Now they're rolling out the cargo app, which will be curated with Uber's help to sell Items like Amazon Echo, Apple AirPods, Away Luggage, Glossier Makeup, and Oculus Go devices. Neil Watterson, the head of guest products and Uber said in the blog post. And also Movies Anywhere, apparently. Here's how it will work. Uber riders and cars with cargo consoles will now be able to download the app to make purchases on items that include travel accessories, movies, and trendy tech gear. More brands will be added over time and more drivers are adding the boxes to their cars. By buying something, customers will also receive an extra 10% back in Uber cash, which can be redeemed on future rides or on future cargo purchase. Oh, okay. Yeah, well, that's for the customers. Okay, that's fine. The cargo app will work only during an Uber trip. After purchase is complete, cargo will ship items directly to a rider's home free of charge. Watson said the items should arrive within two to five business days. I don't know why this is so different from Amazon, but okay, whatever. The Cargo app will also include in-ride entertainment via a partnership with Universal Studios, selling movies for $5 and $10 a piece, or in bundles for $15 and $20. Watterson said they're doing this because many people taking Uber trips are riding longer distances to and from airports. This is true, by the way. The move shows a company is trying to make the riding experience more appealing over its competitors like Lyft and Via. Well, that's because, again, you bullied Cargo off the platform. You told Uber drivers they could be deactivated if they use Cargo, and only until Cargo came around and agreed to be your exclusive partner, then, well, now it's a good thing. Yeah, I, I don't like it. Drivers make $1 per purchase and pocket 25% of the cost each item sold via the app. The upstart brands like Glossier and Away that end up on the Cargo app are also likely to gain more exposure. Uber has equity in Cargo but declined to come on the amount. Cargo has raised nearly $30 minutes, million to date according to Crunchbase. And by the way, I bet you, I bet you, Uber will own cargo at one point. I mean, here's the thing. If there's any company that they're going to buy, buying cargo by far makes the most amount of sense. The absolute most amount of sense. Uh, by the way, Uber went public May 10th when the stock was trading at $42. Its shares are up about 4.9% since then. So, yeah. 
yeah, I guess they finally hit their IPO price. So anyway, that's what it looks like. And uh, yeah, you know, that's that's kind of nice. Although, again, we have the Amazon app. We have the Best Buy app. We have the Sears app even. We have the Walmart app. We have the Target app. In all cases, you can buy stuff and it will be delivered straight to your door. As for movies, again, I notice they are using the Movies Anywhere app. I have the Movies Anywhere app on my phone, and guess what the app does? It allows you to buy any movie you want. So this seems like a truly redundant feature. That said, if it comes to my area, I will probably take an Uber ride just to test out to see exactly how it works and if it is easy to use. It, I'm just looking at it and it's like I'm trying to figure out what what do they really hope will be accomplished with this. Like, I mean, yeah, they're going to get a cut of sales, but are people going to be using it? Because people can do anything they want on their phone. So, like, they'll call the Uber ride and say, oh, they want to buy something. Well, they'll go and they'll grab the Amazon, Best Buy, Walmart, Target, whatever app. And they will buy stuff and they will either have it delivered or they will have have it be available to be picked up when they reach their destination. So I don't know if the cargo store is going to actually do a whole lot. Although, again, it makes sense that they would at least try. And by the way, if it is successful, guarantee you Uber will be buying cargo. I fully expect them to own this company by the end of the year, if not early next year at the latest. However, that's where we're going to end this one because, frankly, there's not a whole lot more to say about it this time. So I'd like to know, does this sound like a good idea to you? Would you opt in as a driver to sell? If you were a passenger, would you buy from the Argo Cargo Store app or would you just use one of your others? I would love to know. So comment below, like, favorite, share, subscribe. If you enjoy my videos, consider becoming a Patreon subscriber. It's totally optional, of course, but even as little as $1 a month goes a long way. Helping the channel run smoothly, you get access to things like my Patreon's exclusive blog. Also, if gas prices are getting just a little down, check out the GetUpside app below. It's totally free, but you get cash back on every gas purchase. If you want more content from me, subscribe to my other YouTube channels, Kevin T. Rodriguez, The Entrepreneur Vlogs, and The Autograph Hound, if you want. And if you want to talk to me or other fellow rideshare drivers check us out on facebook at the app entrepreneur hangouts and as always blame responsibly have a good one